Do you sing notes off pitch constantly? Visually seeing if you're off pitch using a vocal pitch monitor can really help you tell just how far off you are. And many singers believe that good pitch is something that you're born with or you're not. But today I'm going to show you that you can go from constantly singing flat or sharp to hitting the right notes every single time. Let's go. If you're watching this video, there's a 97% chance that you can learn to sing on pitch. But many singers think that they're tone deaf. But the truth is that only about 3% of the population has amusia, or actual tone deafness. Are you a part of that 3%? Here's how to find out for sure. The vast majority of singers out there just haven't learned how to coordinate their voice yet. Basically, in order to hit the correct notes, your vocal cords have to stretch the absolute perfect amount to create vibrations that go at the exact speed of the frequency of the pitch that you're trying to sing. So basically, your cords have to stretch the perfect amount in order to hit the right note. Kind of like the strings on the guitar, the more that your cords stretch out and thin, the higher the note that you get. And the thicker the strings, the lower the note. The same is true for singing, except that with the voice, you can't see it, you can't touch it, and it sounds different to you than everyone else. 10 years ago, I learned three incredible exercises that you can use to dramatically increase your ability to sing in tune. And I learned them because I was singing off pitch in the worst possible place, on stage in front of hundreds of people. Let me give you a little background. In the middle of college, one of my best friends, a guitar player named Jesse, invited me to come in an audition for the band that he was in called Waiting for Yesterday. They needed a bass player, and even though I played guitar, he said, hey, just, you know, buy a bass and come in audition. Now, Jesse tells me that in order to nail the audition, to tell the lead singer, Daniel, that I can also sing. Basically, they wanted more voices to kind of like fill out the sound. Now, even though I had only learned how to scream sing, during high school, I decided to go for the audition. Luckily, they never asked me to sing during the audition and instead just focus on my bass playing. This is way before I had any vocal training and I was a complete beginner in singing. Not only was I not within a note or two of the pitch, I wasn't within a mile of the note, but they didn't know that. Maybe you've been in a similar situation. Luckily, Daniel is a great lead singer, and so that takes some of the pressure off of me for a bit. After a couple of months of practicing really hard together, the band scores a gig performing at a festival in a small rural town in the middle of Virginia. And even though my bass playing is pretty good, I have this deep, dark secret. I have no idea how to sing. As we get closer to the festival date, the guys in the band ask me whether I can sing a really simple background vocal. The background vocal is just gonna be behind what the lead singer is singing during the chorus. So I tell them, sure, no problem. In the weeks leading up to the performance, we rehearse a bunch in Jesse's noisy basement. And I'm still doing my absolute best to hide the fact that I have no idea how to sing. I mean, I can kind of mime what the other people are doing and kind of parrot it back, but I really don't know what the note is. It sounds silly to say, but there are some actual notes that you're supposed to sing. And literally any melody that you can sing can actually be broken down into notes on the piano, which is crazy. But add in all the noisy drums, the screeching guitars and all the feedback, and nobody can really hear anything. So for a while, I'm able to get away with it. The day of the festival gig comes up and we're actually playing the song with my backup vocal first. That means I can just nail those two notes that they've asked me to sing and then I can just completely focus on my bass playing. No problem, right? As the chorus to the song came up, I can feel the acid building up in my stomach. I am so incredibly nervous. Now, I have a pretty simple job. I literally only have to sing two notes, and then I just hold those two notes as Daniel sings the lead melody over top of what I'm doing. Oh, That was my whole job, just to sing those two notes. <laughs> the turnaround before the chorus comes up and it's time for me to sing the words. I walk up to the microphone and what comes out is indescribably awful. Notes that I didn't even realize existed popped and crackled out of my voice as I hear my singing fall out of key. Not only am I super embarrassed, but my singing is so bad that I actually throw Daniel out of key as well. But Daniel's a pro and he quickly regains his composure and finishes the song. I don't know how I missed it at the time, but there are some real actual notes in songs that you're supposed to sing. One of the best exercises that you can do as a singer that's working on your pitch training 
is to break a song down, break the melody down, and actually practice those notes until you've got them perfect. But the bigger thing that I took away from this experience was I actually didn't even have any idea that I was off pitch until I heard it. I just couldn't get my voice to match my ear. If this is something you're struggling with, check this out. Years later, I'm taking my very first real voice lessons. One of the first scales that the teacher gives me is a five tone scale where you walk up the first five notes of the major scale, and then you walk back down. While you can try this on lots of different sounds, I actually recommend getting started off with pitch training by singing a five tone scale where you take each one of these notes and you sing a number to that. So like one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. The key to this exercise is memorizing the feeling that you get by singing each note in the scale and making sure that what you hear matches what's going on in your throat. But of course you can't sing out numbers on stage. To sing songs, you actually have to sing words. So once you have the five tone count mastered, try to sing the exact same scale, but instead of singing numbers, replace each note with the word mum, as in mother. Kind of like this. Mum, 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 mum. Mum, 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 mum. The mum is a fantastic exercise for keeping your voice at rest, but the mum also kind of acts as like a template for where the words in a song would go. These exercises are incredibly important for coordinating the different notes in your voice. But if you're not sure if you're on pitch, the scale is also really easy to look at on a vocal pitch monitor. Then once you have a bit of confidence that you can start hitting the right notes, then you can start working on more and more complicated scales. Learning how to sing on pitch is one of the biggest foundations in singing, but almost anyone can learn to sing on pitch with the right singing techniques. In my video singing course, Sing on Pitch, you'll get instant access to eight HD video lessons with proven pitch improvement techniques, as well as six audio warm ups so that you can start putting it into practice. Get enrolled here.